we doubt the importance of story. If we are not sure of when to tell our story, if we forget the power of listening to a story, our final story may serve as a fitting encouragement. My father enlisted in the Army as soon as he was old enough and served in World War II in the South Pacific. During my childhood and through most of my adult life, he never talked about that time with me. When he started to develop memory issues, he grew angry and scared about forgetting things. To challenge himself, he began to tell me stories from World War II. Some were humorous, some were sad, and some were completely outrageous. But the detail he remembered and the way he expressed himself emotionally, all while fighting dementia, made me want to hear more and more. But because my father told his stories only after dementia and hallucinations had taken hold. I feel I'll never know some truths about this intelligent, kind, and loving man's life. I miss my father. And I will try to fill the void he left by reminding those around me that it is never too early to tell a story about something meaningful in your life to anyone who will listen. Thank you for joining us this afternoon to hear our Alzheimer's stories. We hope some have resonated with you. May we all be reminded that in this and in all life's challenges, we are not alone.